Evelyn, a junior at Central High School, is here because she got to do an incredibly neat experience, internship at MD Anderson Hospital and mm -hmm. clinic and research yes, this summer, and we're the youngest uh, paid intern. That mm -hmm. is amazing. Thank you. And most of them are sm sophomores in college. Yes, And did the fact that you got to do that have anything to do with the fact that you are a state champion debater? Yes, ma'am. It did. It did. <laughs> so you you used your your presentation and selling skills to get this opportunity? Yes, ma'am. I did. And also during the internship with the weekly presentations that we had to give at MD Anderson, that the speech and debate team and the experience through that helped. Well, that is so neat because Central does have a national winning mm -hmm. uh, speech and debate. So many of our graduates have gone through and have continued on. This has been going yes. on for decades yes, as yeah. far as the debate and speech part. Mm -hmm. But right now under Julie Schneers, yes. uh, what a successful program. Okay, mm -hmm. so we've established the fact that that helped you be beg in <laughs> yes. an interview, I would imagine. Yes, ma'am, it was an interview. And you also then, prior to that, had to write a written application. Yes, ma'am. And you have to do that same kind of thing to get ready for your speeches, don't you? Yes, ma'am, for my speeches and not only for my uh, interpretation for uh, dramatic interp and prose and poetry that I'm in, but also for the debate side that I'm in for Congress. We have to give speeches and so being a part of the speech and debate team really helped me for writing different medical uh, abstracts at MD Anderson. So you told me that there were three approximately three main things you did over the course of your two months there. Uh, yes, go over those again. What I did this summer was I would first shadow the doctors and I would learn about what they were doing with patients and the different treatment plans. I also worked in the research clinic where we dealt with different medications and uh, innovations and medical discoveries and dealing with the cancer cells. And the third thing that I did was help write different abstracts for medical dictionaries and different uh, medical competitions. Wow. Because m most of those doctors are, if not all of them, are involved in research. Yes, ma'am. So, and they have to write it up. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Okay, so speaking, writing, good people skills, <laughs> Uh, knowing when to just be an observer and listener. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma wow. Did you have regular eight-hour days, like if it was a job? Yes, ma'am. It was a job. It would. My day would begin at 8 a.m. and it would be done by 5 p.m. But I would also have additional work to do once I was off work with doing the different documentation of what I had researched. How did you know about this opportunity? I had been asked by the different doctors because of my success in two different state competitions for science fair. I had won second and fifth the second year for biochemistry and they had heard about my improvements with different uh, cancer cells and dealing with that and they had asked me if I would be interested in doing the program and I began speaking with them and applying for the internship. And a little begging along yes, the way doesn't yes. hurt, does no, it? No, not at all. <laughs> and you've said you are interested after high school, which is the rest of this year and all of next year, yes, you still are interested in pursuing oncology or some kind of research yes, in the cancer area and maybe going to Rice or Vanderbilt, yes, you said, even though I tried to nudge you toward the University of Texas. Yes, That's all fair. <laughs> so you really feel like that this, after two months, only made you more interested? Yes, ma'am, it did. It made me uh, realize the different opportunities that I had by doing this program and what, it, what I had wanted to do as a future career. 
and it helped me make decisions on classes that I will be taking or that I am taking at Central this year. Yes, because you decided to take a course that you hadn't necessarily thought of. Yes, ma'am. I decided to take two uh, sciences this year, and I'm doing AP Chemistry with Mr. Hallway. And so I've been taking AP chem or Chemistry two years in a row. And I decided to do that to where I could further improve my knowledge with chemistry and dealing with uh, chemicals and cancer cells and things of that nature. Do you have to reapply to go back this summer? Yes, ma'am, I do. I have to reapply to go back. When do you do that? I begin the process of applying in January. Okay. Another complete application. Yes, ma'am. Did they give you any indication at the end? Do they evaluate you in your presence? Yes, ma'am, they did. They evaluated me and they uh, they had me actually have give a presentation of what all I had learned this summer and what all I had discovered through their teaching me of how to work with different cancer cells. And so through that presentation, they then evaluated me and how well I learned and what I had learned this summer. How many paid internships were there? There were six paid internships in uh, my group that I was in, and so I was in the multiple myeloma and lymphoma, and so it was dealing with the blood cancers. Is that the one you would have picked? Yes, ma'am, okay. it is. My goodness. What did you enjoy the most of those three kinds of things you did? I enjoyed researching the most, everything in the... Uh, lab just really intrigued me of how one day the the cancer cells work great with the medication and it and it kills the cancer cells and the next day it could be completely different so it was a trial and error type process that I really enjoyed doing and figuring out which medication would work best if not a combination. There are some really smart people who spend their lives on that same kind of experience mm -hmm. that you enjoyed. It's a very large place. Yes, ma'am, And it is. Uh, But I, my family's experience is, and I'm not quite sure how they do this, they show such personal attention mm -hmm. even though they have so many patients. Yes, ma'am. Wow. The, the people at MD Anderson and the doctors and everyone that works there are very personable and very caring and different people's situations with family or uh, financial and things like that. Did you realize, how did you see and realize how emotionally attached many of the physicians and nurses get and can you handle that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what I noticed was that the doctors would uh, spend a lot of time with their patients, that it wasn't just a go in for a few minutes and tell them what they had been diagnosed with and tell them the treatment plan. They would sit down and explain what would need to go, what, what would need to happen, and the different process that they would have to take. And it was, uh, it was just a very caring and loving type situation that uh, my father's had to deal with as well. And so knowing that that the doctors are personable to not only my father because of his uh, treatment there for so many years, but also new patients and everything as well really uh, enlightened me to how caring they were and what good doctors they were there. Did your father's experience have anything to do with your interest, piquing your interest to make this your life's uh, goal? Yes, ma'am. When my uh, father was diagnosed at age six, I had always showed some interest of what would make him feel better and what would uh, eventually cure him or help him. And so having him be diagnosed with this terrible illness really uh, helped lead me to what I would want to do as a career. Even path. as a young elementary child of <laughs> yes, six? Yes, ma'am. Wow. So would you recommend this experience to um, bright other young people who aren't sure but think they would be interested in this? What do you think they have to be prepared for if they want to be interested in doing what you have done? I think one of the many things that they have to be able to realize is that uh, just because you're interested in the medical field or being in or you love math and science and those different subjects you also have to be able to have the speaking ability to articulate yourself and uh, be able to speak with the different doctors there and explain what you've learned 
And so along with that, uh, for me, being a part of the speech and debate team really helped me gain the confidence that I could stand in front of a group of doctors and explain what I knew and what I had discovered. And so there's different aspects that you have to look at in becoming a doctor. Wow. Well, I just admire you immensely, and I hope that there is somebody we have so many smart young people here in San Angelo will take it, uh, the opportunity, whether it's this kind of in internship or another kind. You're two months down there, you had to find a place to live, so it's more than just, um, you said your family had a, um, a mobile home? Yes, ma'am. And you all live there? Yes, ma'am. I lived there part of the time with my parents, and then whenever my father had to come back and do different dialysis treatments here in San Angelo, my grandparents stayed with me there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Have you kept up in these weeks since you've been home a communication with anybody mm -hmm. there, either in the, who were uh, were, were the, an intern like yourself or one of the researchers? Yes, ma'am, I have. I spoke with the doctors on Friday, and they had uh, told me that one of our abstracts, actually two of our abstracts that we had worked on, are being entered into the ASH competition, which deals with different uh, hematology-type problems and illnesses, and so we're really excited about that. Well, as you should be. <laughs> How lovely. Yeah. Well, Lauren, what a tribute this is, not only to you, but to our school district and our city, that someone could go and represent us. And we look forward to knowing if, when you get accepted for year two. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.